Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and we're working on page one, page one of London's Calling. We're going to have two flaps. You're going to have a left hand flap that is four and a half, four and a half by eight. And then a right hand flap that is six and seven eighths by eight. You're going to score a half inch on the six and seven eight inch side. And that's an odd size. I'm not sure if, why I did that. When I put the paper down, it might might be clear. Okay, so there we go. So it's going to go like this. So we need to put a magnet here to keep everything closed. Okay, I'm going to brush that down. I like to put the tape, and it doesn't have to be double-sided tape, could be just scotch tape, the tape over the top to um, smooth out those edges. They're not beveled, so they're kind of sharp. And depending on the paper you're putting over them, sometimes they're pretty apparent. So by adding that tape, it sort of softens things up. Okay, now I'm going to use 8 by 8s for this page. I'm going to show you what I did. This is an 8 by 8 which I split, and it's going to get installed just like so. So that it's the full 8x8 eight eight page once it's installed. And I did the same thing with this 8x8. Eight eight. Oh, is that right? I say that, now it doesn't look like it's an 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, the top is an 8x8. Eight eight. This is from the, the A4 collection, and it's split. So this is going to go on the back side of this. This is going to go on the back side of that. And then we have to add a little piece here. You'll see in just a moment. So I'll go ahead and add this in. I'm going to put this paper down so I can better see the edges. Yeah, everything looks good. It's inked already. <clears throat> I think these are cool. Here's the second half of the 8x8. It's going to go right here. Okay, now you can see that we still have to put something here, so we're going to color block a piece right there. Wow, that didn't go in straight. Much better. So this is going to be the base.
Okay, there we go. This will go over here. I like this paper. I think I said it came from the A4, but it's not possible. It had to have come from the 12 by 12. I said that because it had so many tags on it. But... Oh, it definitely came from a 12 by 12 pack. Sorry about that. I chose this um, because you can you can leave it as a decorative piece, but you could also place a photo here, and then all of these are very easy to place photos on. Sometimes the images are so strong, it's hard to bring yourself to cover them. So um, the way I design, uh, I keep that in mind. And on the B sides or the N sides, I try to make it a little easier to, to lay photos and keep the A side for the closed position as the decorative position, which you can still put photos on, but I try to keep that in mind um, as I'm building an album. Otherwise, you can't bring yourself to lay, some people can't bring themselves to lay photos down. Hey, I want to let you guys know, and you've asked before, um, We I had never sold my albums online, my finished ones. Uh, we are going to start doing that. Um, so if you go to www.scrapandcreate.com, there is now a new uh, collection or category called Albums by Daphne and um, or Completed Albums. It's something like that. Um, and it's in our shop. And you can buy... Uh, I've got 16 listed right now that are mostly from this year, but there are a couple of ones that are a little bit older. So go take a look at that if you are in a rush to get an album or if you really just want to touch something before you make it. Um, all the albums that you find in the shop do have their tutorials ready for you to use if you just want to build your own. But in a pinch, it's nice to know you can now buy, buy them if you like. Okay, so now we need to put something here and I want a strong contrast like this. This is too short, so I gotta see if I can't find, I think I accidentally repurposed it someplace else because I had previously cut it last night. So that happens. So let me see, I think I'm, this will, nope, that's not big enough. It has to be at least eight inches. I thought I had, oh, I have some more of that. There we go. Now this is from the A4. You can tell because it's got all the tags on the back side. So I am just gonna trim that down. Let me see if there's anything else I can use first. And they don't mind cutting through. Nope, I think that's gonna be it. So I'm gonna trim this to fit. There we go. And 
that is page one. Okay, I'll be back soon with page two.